Hello, how's it going everybody? Hope you're not COVID-19 positive yet, or ever for that matter. It's Nico here from Nico's Aquatics. Thank you so much for tuning into this Species Saturday. Man, you know what? It's probably been a year or two, maybe even more, since I've done a Species Saturday. I think my last Species Saturday was probably Convict Cichlids. So that had to have been about Ooh, maybe even four years ago, actually. Maybe. <clears throat> uh, before we get started, be sure to check out realnse.com for all your real news, sports, and entertainment. You can also go to um, shop.realnse.com if you want to support the, the move in here. The, that's basically our shop. We have stickers, mugs, you know, hoodies, and all different designs. Just check it out. See if you like some. And they're, and they're low cost, too. So... I appreciate that. Any support we can get there. This is the new channel, guys. Nico's Aquatics. Um, let me just do a really quick thing. Uh, you may remember me, DJ Bootleg from DJ Bootleg D, uh, TV or Nico'sAquatics.com. I used to sell freshwater plants. Uh, I did that for like six months and it went okay. Um, at one point, I had 10 tanks, I believe it was, and then two shop tanks. I sold just... Um, I, I just showed uh, plants out of so and you can go back to those uh, if you want I mean those are so old and that was way different back then so I'm trying to start these from scratch um, I love aquatic still I never changed that um, it's just some things in my life has prevented me from doing it as much as I'd like uh, but I have this beautiful 20 gallon tank here for some reason on the um, the video here I'm looking at it is definitely not as cloudy as it looks I did just put a gallon of water in it, so it may have ruffled uh, some things up. But as you can see, there is no nitrates, uh, excuse me, ammonia in the tank. Um, so, yeah, uh, let's get started here. So today's episode of um, Species Saturday is going to be about duckweed. And you probably already know what duckweed is, but if not, this video is going to go over everything for you. And let's get started. All right, so first, let's get our pond lovers out of the way i don't do a lot of pond work i've had one pond in my life and that was with me and my dad a long time ago and it didn't do very good uh so you won't really see much pond stuff here but duckweed is a pond plant as well as a as a freshwater tank plant it can be either one um so basically what you can do with it in the uh the uh, pond atmosphere is if you lay We'll get, over, we'll get into this a bit later, uh, but if, if it overtakes the tank and there's a, a, a solid uh, film over top of the water, basically means there's a coat of duckweed over top of the water, uh, that is not only going to uh, protect the fish that are inside of there and the other plants from, you know, uh, birds flying by, not being able to look down and see that there's fish in the, uh, in the aquarium, or I'm sorry, in the pond, um, to see, uh, you know, cats uh, uh, walking by uh, and other critters around, that's going to prevent them from seeing fish in there and going to get it. A lot of times they can't smell what's inside the water. They can only smell the water. So uh, their eyes is really the way that they see that. So a lot of people put, you know, ca uh, caging over uh, their ponds and it just doesn't doesn't really look that good so this is something that i've seen a few times online that people use to try to basically do a natural film over top to protect uh any pets uh, any sort of fish or any other critters that are inside there like frogs or you know whatever you guys put in 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 ponds i don't know but yeah that is a great way to basically protect whatever is inside of there from any of the outside um things going on on the outside any other things um any other animals or critters on the outside to protect them from coming inside and seeing what you got in that tank so also another good thing is a lot of people put obviously goldfish in ponds because they're huge and they're giantly messy and insanely messy i should say so they put the duckweed in there and for some reason again i haven't had a pond before and i i really have never had a full-on goldfish tank so i'm not real sure about this personally but i have i've done my research on the video uh, just like i always do for species saturday so um i'm confident to say everything i'm telling you here uh fact checked and everything no fake news uh but goldfish love to eat duckweed 
So if you have that in your pond, um, you know, you don't want to go out there every night feeding them. That's kind of annoying, you know. So if you have that on there, it not only protects them, you know, uh, forms a coat over top, again, to not let other things see in what you got in the water, but also it feeds and keeps your, um, your goldfish healthy and full. So that is a really good benefit uh, of duckweed in your pond. So now let's go back into my world, the fish tank world, and see what benefits we got over there. Toby wants to be in the video. Ha! I had to let him, man. I had to let him. Toby. <laughs> All right, so next what we're going to talk about is the pros for duckweed. Now, uh, it, just like any other live plant inside the tank, it obviously sucks up the bad stuff, which is nutrients, uh, which to the fish and us is bad stuff, but it's food for live plants. And I'm not telling you anything you don't know if you're into the hobby, <laughs> but there could be some newbies out there just finding the channel. Welcome, if so. Uh, but what feeds plants is is ammonia, nitrates, nitrites, all that stuff eats. Uh, you know, it's basically few uh, fuel food to plants. They eat all of that. So that's why I always recommend at least one live plant in a tank. Uh, regardless of what you have in there because uh, you could find a live plant to go with something you know they say African cichlids you can't have live plants with that that's false I've debunked that myself uh, not that nobody else has but I've shown that myself on my other channel when I had my 55 gallon uh, cichlid tank with fully stocked it was a planted cichlid tank uh, so that you know any no matter what type of fish you have or critter whether it's a shrimp or crayfish you need a live plant in there man and this is kind of getting getting into a different rant maybe i can do it another time uh but that's why right now the safeguard over here you might not be able to see it is yellow it's in the safe zone it is always in the safe zone because i have all those live plants in there sucking up all those nutrients <clears throat> so again Duckweed is the exact same thing. It is a floating plant. There, uh, there's a root system to it, um, but it's not actual roots you bury in the ground. I'll, I'll try to show you here. Here we go. Perfect. Uh, let's see. And my dog wants to eat it. Um, no, Toby. Come on, dude. I'm trying to do something here. Uh, probably won't... Uh, All right, well, whatever. Yeah, so if you can maybe see, which you can't, of course. All right, sorry, guys. But you see those little things poking off, almost like spikes, like hair? Yeah, those are the roots there. Okay? So those are the roots there that sucks up all the nutrients and all that stuff to, to get fed. Uh, but you don't actually bury it. It'll obviously die and rot underneath. So, and then I'll flip the camera when I'm done to get some sh uh, live shots, some B-roll of it, and show you where it is and wh where it goes and whatnot. But um, it's a floating plant. You literally, as my dog shakes, I'm sorry, guys. I, and that's another thing. I'm going to be doing this a lot better soon. I'm going to have a better lighting and also an actual stand, not just on my bed. This is my first video back in years. So give me a shot. And for some of you, you know how serious I took this and how knowledgeable I am. Um, so I'll be, I'll get back to that point, um, you know, somewhere shortly, hopefully by next week. But anyway, um, so yeah, this is a plant that you literally just throw in and you are done. No prepping, no propagating, boom, bang, thank you, mang. You throw it in there and within a week or two, it is going to start taking over the top of your tank in a good and bad way, which I'll get into the bads in just a second, there's a couple. So this isn't all, you know, hopes and dreams, or I don't know, I couldn't think of a better word there. This isn't all, um, you know, um, whatever. So there is some bad to this plant. Um, right now I don't really have too many because I just put it in about a week ago and I did thin it out a little bit. Uh, but the funny story about this is when I had, when I had uh, with uh, my first experience with duckweed is actually my mom's tank, uh, which these black mollies uh, swimming around are actually from her tank. 
uh, siblings, you know, offsprings, Fry from her tank a long time ago when she had her apartment, which she no longer has. Uh, her and my sister got a house, didn't choose to bring the tank with them, so I brought it over here and got the, the, the mollies over here. Uh, these mollies are super old, so that's pretty cool. Um, so basically, uh, what happened was I put a tank, a uh, uh, live plant in the tank, and I didn't realize that it had duckweed somewhere on there. Uh, and within a week or two, because I didn't go over there every day, I just told her to feed them every once in a while. I'll come over, do water changes. And then I went over there probably a week and a half to two weeks later, and it was whoosh. The whole front top was just covered. I opened that thing up. I'm like, holy cow, it's, it's actually pretty cool to see because you could just put your hand in and it's just covered in duckweed. Um, so that's pretty cool that it, it takes off like that. It's so easy, it'll grow in anything. You don't need a, a, a good light for it. You, you could grow it in anything. That's one of the good things about it. And that's why it's, it's such a good beginner plant because uh, you can't fail. There's no way to fail this. So now let's get into some of the bad parts of the duckweed. Before we do that, I do want to mention probably one of the best benefits of duckweed that I actually forgot. So my apologies for that. But it's actually algae control. So when you have, what happens when you have too much light and too much nutrients in the tank? You have algae. Yuck. Disgusting. You know, hair algae, brown algae, all that crap. So if you have a nice coat on the top of your tank... You know, uh, not fully. That's that's going to be in the bad uh, the bad column in a second. I'll show you that. But if you have, uh, you know, blocking some light in there in certain areas, that's going to prevent algae growth. Also, because it's such a nutrient sucker uh, plant, that'll suck all those nutrients up to avoid algae. I have no algae in this tank at all, and I have no algae eaters except for a couple of snails. And I think honestly. Um, I don't want to light a whole lot because I have a timer, which I will be doing a review on this light uh, soon. But um, a lot of that has to do with duckweed, and I've never had any algae problems in any of my tanks because of duckweed. So now let's get to the bad parts. Alright, so we did the good, now let's do the bad. So the bad with duckweed is, there's a lot of um, side effects, if you will, to duckweed, but just stick with me here, I'll explain them. So the first one that a lot of people complain about is just how uh, just over, out of control it will get. You know, it gets out of control very quickly. Just like I mentioned, within a couple weeks, I had the top of the tank at my mom's house, mom's apartment, covered with duckweed. You couldn't even see down. It was, it was a little hard to feed. So all you have to do is just get a net, scoop it out, make sure you don't have any fish. And then just toss them. You can either put them in another tank or if you have a pond um, or anything like that or, or, you know, whatever you want to do with it. Take it outside, spray it off into the grass. It'll die. Um, so, yeah, th that's the best way to thin it out. You'll probably have to do that once or twice a month just depending on how your setup is. Um, if you have a very basic setup, it'll probably be once a month. Uh, or you may, or you may like that. I mean, I don't know. You know, that's that's up to you guys. But the biggest problem is that it's going to block out. In um, once it gets completely covered the top, uh, it's going to block out the light the, uh, for the other t uh, fish. I'm sorry, the other plants. So when you, the total top is covered, obviously the light is not going to be able to penetrate all the way down to these other plants here. You know, jungle vow would be okay because it's all the way to the top. Um, but you know these especially foreground plants those are gonna die and pretty quickly because not only sucking up all the nutrients But it's also not uh, Getting any light because of the duckweed. I'm sorry guys. My guy wants to come back again So that's about it for this video guys. Um, you will have to thin it out every so often uh, So basically um, you know, That's it for the duckweed man. I highly recommend duckweed if you don't have it uh, just give it a shot man in a lot of local fish stores, not like PetSmart and all that, but like LFS, uh, LFS is around you. Uh, they'll they'll give you, you know, just a little handful of it for free or a couple bucks at most, and that's all you need. You know, you got people online selling, uh, you know, golf ball size for you know six bucks or whatever. It's like you don't need that much, man. Like, okay, let me give you some B-roll here. See how crystal clear the tank is? I don't know why it looks. Well, I guess it doesn't look too bad since the front camera. Anyway. Um, 
Now here's some duckweed. But the cluster is about right here. I really don't have too much. So this is uh, the duckweed. There you go. You can pretty much see. Those are the roots right there. Some of them actually, uh, when they get real strong, they have almost like a purple tint to them. They are, it is a really cool and beautiful looking plant. Also, one more thing, uh, if you're doing a lot of maintenance on your tank, it does kind of get uh, annoying because when you put your hand down in there to do maintenance, it comes up with, you know, I don't have the much, so it's a little different, but it comes up with this, uh, so it's hard to get off. <laughs> a lot of people just take it outside, spray it, but that is a living plant, so I don't really like to do that. Uh, so... Yeah, it's different for everybody though, man. Uh, you may like that. You know, you may like uh, completely covered. Thank you so much for watching. More to come. I will be getting a stand in a better setup here soon. Just bear with me. Uh, if you have any questions about duckweed or anything else, I am more than happy to help. Uh, I've been in the hobby for almost 20 years since I was a little kid. Um, and if I don't know the answer, I'm going to say, hey, I don't know, dude. So, you know... Um, I appreciate you guys, and I really hope you have found my channel. You know, come back to me. Come back to me. So we can uh, get to talking tanks again, man. I appreciate it. Um, Nico out. God bless. And also stay safe with this virus, man.